I believe you all had an opportunity to look at uh, some lists. Um, and basically, there's a couple that, that rose to the top, a Mr. Wes Hare and a Mr. Phil Messina. It appears that the two that rose to the top in the majority of the council. Um, and basically, uh, process, however you all want to do it, but recommendation would be is the, the mayor and the mayor elect. Basically have phone interviews with your top two picks. And then upon uh, they selecting whichever they feel is the best one of the two, that they'd be allowed to go ahead and do uh, an initial offer to them, uh, to whoever it is they select of the top two that are being presented to y'all. Again, that's just a recommendation, but that would tend to uh, expedite uh, your filling that position. Because uh, I, I believe a little time, at least a few days, myself, at least a few days with them, solid a few days with them would be helpful if they come on to uh, take over. Have you talked to these guys at all? Yes. So um, if we went with the top two, which are what, uh, Pia and Messina, are they available? Yes, I spoke to them today. So okay. I gave them a heads up to let them know that, hey, you're going to be discussed this evening. So I did give them a heads up. <coughs> Here. Uh, instead of a telephone interview, why not ask them to come in? Exactly. Or if you don't want to have them come in, how about a Skype to face to face instead of just doing telephone? That's yeah. fine. Kathy? Yeah. So I just want to point out, and Louie, you probably didn't know this, um, but so Messina had three, but actually he had two, and Schultz had two also, because I, um, I changed my mind. <laughs> so just I just wanted to bring out that, that there, Mr. Hare rose to the top, Mr. Messina and Mr. Schultz both had two. So I don't know... So that's up to the you council know, how you to do how that. you want to do that. If you want to, if you want to consider Mr. Schultz also, um, and give him a call to see if he is available, um, the mayor and I can do that, or just go with Messina, um, or we can discuss how we feel about each one. What would you like, Gary? Well, why not talk to three? I mean, it's a, we're not paying for this. <laughs> so, so Kathy, we'll set up a meeting for Monday. Okay. We can, can, you, do can that. you do it by Skype? I don't know yet. I don't know. We can well, yeah. well, I'll, 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 um, how about if I, if I just try to get a hold of all three of them tomorrow just to find out what their preferences are okay. and what their availability is? Okay. Um, and we then, can do it. Um, I can let all of you know and we'll go from, go from there. Um, would you be interested in, I mean, if they can indeed Skype or they can do a teleconference? Or if for some reason they can appear, um, how many of you would be willing to um, to carve out some time? They can't. You know. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. We'll take notes. Later. All right. That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, I, I don't see any reason to limit it to two. No. This is okay. huh? Why limit it to two? Yeah, we, do we can do the three. That's what we said. Yeah, that, yeah we'll yeah. do three, is okay. what Kathy said. And if they're willing to come in and do a face to face, are you guys willing to meet with them face to face? Yeah. Yes. Monday, we can. Yeah. Um, so, one question that, that I'm not going to be involved in this, I'm going to be away. Uh, but one question that I have is uh, do they intend to move to this community during their interim service or are they going to commute? So that brings up a good point. Um, we all probably have questions that we'd like to ask. Um, and so perhaps as we did with our preferences, can you forward your questions sure. to, to Judy and I? Um, and then we'll compile all of those and we'll share all the questions with you that have been compiled so you'll know what is, is, is been asked and then we can share answers as well as the ability to ask those questions yourself if they're, if they're able to communicate with us by phone or visit. Um, and, and do that. That way they'll also be prepared with answers to questions. Are we cool with that then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. 
Um, so we're done with 6.3 again? No. What? Oh. We authorize the mayor and mayor elect to interview the top three candidates and to make an, um, well, actually, and to ultimately make an offer to the candidate. But so I move that we are, we're going to authorize the mayor and the mayor elect to interview the top three candidates and communicate their ability to meet with the council leading to an offer to the candidate that we select. How's that for confusing? Did that work, city of the district? That works. That works. Did you get it? Well, and except uh, to change it up a little bit at the end. I just added the piece that we're going to communicate with them, with the council as to what their availability is. Which will result in an offer. Any more discussion? Okay. Call for the vote. Councillor McMillan? Aye. Mayor Rowan? Aye. Councillor Carl? Aye. Councillor Gobelman? Aye. Councillor Appa? Aye. Councillor Holcomb? Aye. Councillor Holston? Aye. Motion passes. Six point four amendment to severance agreement page two lump sum payment um, date. So do you want to yeah, it's in there somewhere. I pass them out to you. Do you want me to read it? Yes. I pass you out two things. But. Um, so the issue is after review of the city administrator's severance agreement, um, the lump sum payout was scheduled to be paid on November 2008, in November 2018, or eight days after the contract was signed. From a financial position, November and December are very lean months for the city. The majority of the taxes come out um, uh, in December. We also have a number of payments that are going out for the water project, project which are lump sums and large. So it is in the interest of the best interest of the city if the payment can be paid um, in January 2019. And that's, is, Susie, is that specifically January 2nd? Or you could do it on the 2nd or 3rd. Okay, so January 2019. Um, there is no objection from the CAA. It's been reviewed by our, by our attorney. There's no objection. Um, and um, so we are, want to amend the agreement that we made. Um, to indicate this. Gary? So assuming we won't do a barter. I move that we amend the severance agreement to read, quote, employer shall, on January 2, 2019, pay to employee at a severance compensation, close quote, and strike, employer shall, on the effective date of this agreement, pay to employee at a severance compensation, close quote. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Um, just one. Question. Okay. When does he sign? Or has he signed? In no, we had in, in we a, had to approve this tonight. Yeah. So very very soon. <laughs> very soon. <laughs> it's very soon. You mean by close of business Monday? Maybe oh yeah. So let me close of business tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, 
6.5 charter. Oh, I'm sorry. Call for the vote. Aye. Mayor Rowland? Aye. Councilor Holston? Aye. Councilor Mike Millen? Aye. Councilor Gogelman? Aye. Councilor Carl? Aye. Motion passes. Okay. Now we'll go to 6.5 charter. 